Welcome to a demonstration of how to draw chemical reactions using the Know-It-All informatics system. Scientists can use the Know-It-All Draw It and Report It applications to add reaction schemes to reports. This capability is useful to anyone communicating the results of laboratory procedures. We begin with the structure created using the Draw It application. Click the Report It button in the transfer bar to transfer this structure to the reported application. First, we'll adjust the work area so we can see the entire page width. Click the Fit to Page Width button on the Zoom toolbar. Then drag the scroll bar to center the page in the main window. To position the structure on the page, select it, click, and drag. Now we'll use the Text tool to add a caption to the page. Select the tool, then click and drag to create a text box. Adjust the font size, then begin typing. Use the Center Alignment tool in the Text Style toolbar to center the text within the text box. Next, we'll add a reaction arrow. Click the Reaction Arrow tool, then click and drag to draw the arrow. Once the arrow has been drawn, you can resize it, reposition it, and change the direction and style of the arrowhead if desired. Now we'll use the Text tool to add a caption above the reaction arrow. You can type in the degree symbol by opening the Windows Character Map, selecting and copying the symbol, then pasting it in the text box. Next, a second caption is added below the reaction arrow. Use the Selection tool to select the text box and drag it to a new location. To add the next structure to the reaction, we will modify the original structure in the Draw It application. There are several ways to access tools in the Draw It application. One of the easiest is to right-click, then select the Tool Palette from the pop-up menu. You can also quickly open the Tool Palette by using the Control right-click shortcut. Select the Chain tool, then click on the structure and drag to attach a hydrocarbon chain. Use other bond tools to complete the structure modification, then transfer the modified structure to the reported application. The modified structure has been added to the report. Select and drag to move it to the desired position on the page. Next, we'll add another reaction arrow. And another text box. Right align the caption. Then use the subscript tool to format the chemical formula. We'll create the next structure by modifying an existing structure using the drawing tools found in the reported application. First, copy and paste the second structure and move the copy below the reaction arrow. Double-click the copied structure to open Report Its Drawing Tools, then use these tools to edit the structure. Click outside the structure to close the drawing toolbar. Finally, use the Zoom toolbar to view the finished report. 
This concludes our demonstration of how to draw chemical reactions in the know-it-all informatics system.